I'm trying to get to Wild Camp at Leith Hill and Dorking, but I'm currently in Leatherhead on a mystery tour to find where the station is. Oh, there it is. Because, look, what's missing in this area? A sign saying where the station is. There's one over there, but there wasn't one back there on the main road. It's like, obviously everyone knows where the station is. So I'm having to take a, a train to Leatherhead to Dorking, because the bus usually goes to Dorking, but there's a massive oil spill on the 824, I think. I just closed it. I didn't know they got on the bus. Looks like they're still building Leatherhead Station. Yeah. I think they're probably still building Leatherhead. I didn't really need the stress. Because it should just be a single bus journey to Dorking. But, you know, I have to pay an extra £3.60 because there's, there's um, oil spill. So it delays me. So cause I've got a five mile walk from Dorking. Um, I don't want to get there in the middle of the night, so. The oil spill is somewhere around here. It's not completely shut off. Nice scenery. No, sadly, most nice Dorking is like this. I'm trying to get out of it. It's nicer than Guildford, but it's Guildford esque. Decision coming up. Either I head that way down to the Greasehound Way and walk off the road, but that might take longer, or I continue along the main road. It could be fun. And another Mayflower link. This is weird. Everywhere I go, I seem to stumble into Mayflower stuff. Dorking. Well, that's with the Dorking hen, which there is actually a really weird metal version of that. Modern version of that. By the station, I didn't see it. Well. But yeah, this is turning into a Surrey motorway. Now, ordinarily, uh, I'd have walked through the Green Sand Way from Dorking, which is the original plan. But unfortunately, because the whole thing about the the diesel spill on the A24 means I'm running late, so I was like, I'll do some road walking. Um, with a path like this, I'm starting to regret it, because this could very easily disappear. Although we're outside of rush hour, I suspect the closures as many more people using this road. Yeah, there's a track there heading towards Green Sand Way. I'm not confident this won't disappear in about three minutes. You never know with Surrey roads, they can't even pass, just disappear. You don't necessarily have pavements. So, finally, getting out of Dorking. We're near Westcott. And we're away from all that traffic. We, the Westcott Road is basically a classic Surrey motorway. A bit like Cornish motorways, but a little bit bigger. Usually with less footpaths along them. Yeah, I'm just looking for the Green Sand Way. Because it apparently intersects this track, hopefully. So, otherwise I'm going to go back to the busy road. I'm heading to Leith Hill. I'm planning to Wild Camp now tonight. Because it's a nice night. I wonder if this is a green sandway. It could be. This is a nice little lay-by. But yeah, so I decided to do a midweek wild camp at Leith Hill and have a look at the Leith Hill Tower. There's a cafe up there. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm playing some smart work up there uh, tomorrow morning, weather allowing. Probably won't get to do that tonight. Depends what time I get there. It's about five, maybe a bit over five miles from Dorking. The way I've got is I had to go out on the Westcott Road and then down the Green Sand Way, which is, I think, here. There are buses that can get you a bit closer, but not massively closer. It's still a couple of miles, and those, of course, don't run uh, late or anything like that. So I thought I might well just walk it. Uh, a bit of exercise. Unfortunately. I wanted to bring out my titanium foil Caldera Cone version 2 
and I was doing it earlier and I screwed up part of it. So I've had to order some more to toilet today in foil. I did the wrong section. I'm going to wait for that, so that's annoying. It has been sunny. This is one of the few actual summer days of this year. Most of the summer we've had has been in May. When I was in Scotland, or kind of like late April, early May, it was actually really lovely. And then it's just been raining and raining and raining. And this is one of the few days where it hasn't been raining. This is all looking very, you know, I'm not... I'm not camping here, but this is all looking very possible. <laughs> Hiking YouTuber dangers part 3456. Um, recording while you think you're on the right path, but you can't check because you're recording on your phone and that's your navigation device. <laughs> yeah, I was going the wrong way. Um, that path was, was not, but the, this whole area around, I don't know what this area is called. It's like Burry Hill is a bit over that way. I'm went near Westcott. There's loads of woods. There's also dog walkers. And it's quite near civilization, so I, you know, but yeah, there's lots of stuff like this. Sort of flat, flat woodland camping. So, yay. But no, we have a date with the tower. There we are, the Greensand Way. And down here. It's supposed to be a nice evening, but yeah. Not liking those grey skies. Yeah, on a previous video I talked about these sort of U-shaped lanes um, that you tend to get quite a lot in Surrey, like that. But you get this, these hangars where the banks have the, I'm sure other parts of the country have it as well, but the banks have trees on and you get this sort of U-shape. And it's a very distinctive Surrey feature that happens in other parts of, of the country, but it's, it, there's a lot of them. And the older the paths are, or roads, um, the deeper they go. I think bits of Wales have similar things with very old lanes that that do that. Not green lane level, but ancient lane, but pretty, but pretty sort of well traversed. And building up sort of those banks with the trees. And where I grew up, there's loads of those. And I think the Green Sand Way goes to where I used to live. So. I can't remember if it goes, I think it goes to Hazelmere, uh, somewhere near Haz Hazelmere, but it might actually go all up to Hindhead, but yeah, it's the Green Sand Way, it's somewhere that I know, when I saw the map I was like, oh, I know Green Sand Way, um, but I've never walked it, little bits of it maybe, but never actually properly walked it, in a short while we'll be turning, because the, the Green Sand Way sort of goes westbound, and then it heads down, sort of, I think of what seems to be a river or stream valley. I'm a bit worried as I say about the time. Oh wow. Not often you see a waterfall on a Surrey walk. But yeah, that stream later on goes near a Leith Hill. I brought three litres of water, so I've got a bit less now because I drunk some of it, but I think I'll be alright. Leith Hill Greenway. Be nice, say hi. What is that about? Is that for the cyclists or the walkers or the horse riders? I think there's one to be like a stick on port, okay? Not happy about the wind. Not happy about the light. Got a few miles to go. Not too far. That's better, I can actually see. Nice hill greenway. This way. Yeah, I don't know where this wind came from. That's beautiful. Just hope I invite a shelter. Although, with my new tent, it's not so bad, is it? 
and the only tent is not more stormproof so if it gets a bit battered it'll be interesting to see how it coats which should be I was going the wrong way um, the leaf green way would suggest oh it's got leaf in it and the leaf thought no it goes via cold harbour and so what I'm doing now is connecting back up to the green sand way which is a lot shorter because I want to go to rather than go Leith Hill National Trust I want to go to Leith Hill itself I don't want to go to Cold Harbour in the pub but that's very tempting I'm not, I don't want to go there so. so yeah that's kind of delayed me a bit again worried about the light but I do have my head torch and these are marked paths so it's not too bad but still yeah. Uh, 9.30 and yeah I went away wrong, wasn't nearly went well, it wasn't exactly the wrong way but it wasn't the right way either <laughs> it was a bit of a long way around I, again I got turned around it's a thing where it seems like the green sand way has very tiny little I'm used to ways having quite distinctive sort of markers a little tiny text on a little tiny thing and it's quite easy to miss sometimes it's not there not all of the, the footpath signs have had green sand way on them so that's why I got lost twice but I think I'm about a mile away this is all possible all of this is possible but you know it's not where I want to be I want to be at least cool if I get there in the dark, which I probably will. And there's Tilling Bourne, I think, or one of the streams up there. So that would be good enough. I think I've got enough water, but if I had to, I'd filter that. I really like being lost in a spray wood. I've been lost three times now. I'm back on the green sand way again. I got lost again. And luckily we're now away. There's loads of houses and things. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, great. It's just what we want in the dark. That's pretty deep. Uh, some of them can pass around. Someone's saying you should never take these because well, you should go straight through it. Well, they obviously have no experience of the mud in these places. I've already seen some deer rounding away. So, oh dear, this is just so deer. Oh wow. It's all just mad. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Lost in Surrey. Uh, didn't we do well? Lost on the green sand away. That's a lucky moment. There we are. There we are, bats. Liking my light. But, um. Yeah, whoa. Hello. Beetles. So I'm just climbing up to see if I can camp near the tower. I don't know if the tower's occupied. I don't think so. And there's the tower. Talking. I think all the head buzzings for talking. Trick point at loads of benches. Opening times. Oh, it's exciting like Sunday Mang Holidays. Server in 90. 10 to 3. Okay. It's a good place to have my mini cheese. 
I'm to find a camping spot. Tempted to be naughty and just camp up here. But maybe I would. Would be better. Oh, I like this bench. This is my favourite bench. I'll have a proper look at that tomorrow. At the moment it's rather gothic. And you can't see it very well. Found the site. Hey, got about 10 to 13, just wandering around. This is probably a good one. I'm a bit worried over there, there's some kind of burrow. But we just avoid it. Can't hear any hollow. So I banged up and down and I was like, oh, I can hear hollow nest there. I didn't want some animal trying to burrow through my tent. So it's a bit out of the way. There were a few paths through here, but not the main pass. So I think this is good. And it's quite warm and sheltered here. Tent is up. This is one of the latest ever times I've got a tent up and welcome. This is, um, it's... No, past 11 o'clock <laughs> yeah so I was going to do a live I might still do one while I'm doing my food but... yeah there's a bit of wind here the wind makes me wish I brought my puffy jacket but I got my fleece so it's not too bad globing of leather head I think or dorking and I don't know what's that way yeah, it's all quiet in the western front, really. But yeah, had a nice... That's really all right. It's the wind. I'm going to get out the wind. I'm going to be cold now. Had a be good to yourself tomato pretzel chicken. Two of them, because the one never really fills you up. And a black grape. And also some chocolate with brandy and hot chocolate. And to visit my crisps. So yeah, the man, yeah, I need to pack up. I need to get to bed. Also trying out a new mattress. This is the, the, the cheap Chinese, one of those self-inflating, one of these, one of those mattresses with a pump in. Um, I'm trying it because it's got very similar. It was only 12 quid. And it's got very similar design to the Unigear one, not the Comfy, or part of the Comfy. So I'm going to see if that kind of wavy ribbed things is... See, see it's, it's more comfortable despite it being nearly a kilogram. Apparently very comfortable, so we shall see. I mean, obviously, t no R rating. I do actually have my... Sit mat, which I can use for extra, extra cushioning and stuff underneath. I also have emergency blankets I could use underneath. But I just want to try on its own and see what this is like. And see how how it fares. This kind of cheap twelve quid job is it any good? The sun's out. It's hitting the tent. This is where I was camping. Mixed review on this. I mean, it's, it was com fairly comfortable, but it was quite cold, as it would be since no insulation. I thought, oh, well, summer, I don't know. Summer, it doesn't matter, but obviously, here it does. <laughs> It's a good emergency one, but uh, I think you do need something with a little bit more insulation. I've not had anyone disturb us here. Yet. Yeah. 
That's the Leith Hill Tower. There's the view. There's the other view. Beautiful, it's quite warm now. The wind seems to have dropped, so it's very, very chilled. But this opens at ten, so there's likely to be people around. Yeah, I'm going to have breakfast down here. I could do that now. Or I could take this hand down. I probably should take this hand down. So much noises last night from things investigating the rubbish I left outside. I really need to bring a, a rubbish bag and tie it to a tree on the wing. Yeah, seriously. How camouflage is that? Not a bright green triangle of the lantern, is it? It is pretty camouflaged from pretty much anywhere else. I'm not sure if there's mountain bikers given to come down here. Um, there are. I mean, that's one of the main paths. I found another one, but it, again, these mountain bike paths put me off. I'm 50 50 about whether to go back to bed for a bit. Oh, I've got my trousers on now, my shoes. Um, or whether to take the tent down. I started taking the tent down, I was like, oh, I would love some more sleep. And I was like, he's going to find us here. But I thought it was, I did think I heard. I don't know if it caught, I don't know if I was, yeah, I was filming. It caught, it sounded like a bike going by. It sounded like not something else, but it did sound like a, someone bicycling through. In the case that's very early at 6 in the morning, but you don't usually get mountain bikes at 6 in the morning, really, but could be, I don't know. But then again, I want to get some breakfast. <laughs> I'm quite hungry. I wanted to get on to do some of the painting, drawing and painting from here. And, uh, and it's nice to do it when there's not people buzzing around. It doesn't get much better. Breakfast sights than this. Yeah, well, usual stab my porridge and coffee. Unfortunately, my pan, pan got very dirty last night, and then I forgot to bring my scrubby, so well, it doesn't taste too much of tomato, which is good. It's a shame this lighting's changed quite a lot, actually. I preferred it early in the morning, but I wasn't planning to do. I wanted to get the tent down. The tent's a bit more obvious now, so I need to. When it's dried, take it down after breakfast, I think. And then we can just do some painting. You'd never know I was there. I heard voices and I was like, let's get this tent down. I really need to take the rubbish away. A lot of wildlife has been very interested in this. But yeah, annoyingly. Just double check. Always double check. The amount of tent pegs I find, always double check the your camping area. Because you never know. I almost lost a USB cable earlier. And this is a tip for art hikers. The Quidium Pro pack has this bit where you're supposed to put your sleeping pad. No, I, I usually, only usually. If I didn't use it today, <laughs> I was testing that. I usually had to put that underneath um, the sleeping 
mat, but I didn't this time. I wanted to test to see how cold it was, and it was, yeah, it was a bit cold. But yeah, I've got my paper, my paper store in here. There's a paper wallet, and it fits really well. There's a big plastic box does as well. I used to use this big plastic A3 box. But yeah. That's, well, it's not new. I've had it for ages, but I haven't really shown it on the camera. I took it a few times. Got things, and then not used to it, but I was trying to paint that before before the that goes, I think. I haven't used my pens in ages, so Got my brushes. And of course the usual uh, of course it's stuck together. Yeah. I refilled it and it all went all did that. It's alright. We're always using blue. You put in count to ten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a vacuum. It's a little button filler. So you press it, and obviously when it releases, it creates a vacuum. That's what I was thinking. Let us start. Ugh. Time lapse didn't record for some reason, but I'm not happy with this anyway. Um, it's all gone a bit wrong and. I wanted to include the the horizon, of course it's that's too high up, so I think I might have to try doing it this way. Of course that's not gonna film very well, is it? <laughs> Thank you. 
very bright. <laughs> Dewey didn't get the shades of the, of the of the tower properly. I should have gone simpler like that. I think that works better. Um, this got too muddy, too busy. It's difficult because it it's, it it was kind of nice when this morning it was like the sun was over there and it was all nicely lit up and then it's kind of all it's sort of in shadow now apart from this little bit at the top so it's not so great oh well i haven't done age, i haven't done anything for ages so yeah that's interesting i was avoiding the summer lightning trail camping anywhere near the mtb trails because i didn't want to find a mountain bike crashing into my tent but Turns out it's closed, I could have come down there anyway. So just heading off. It refilled my water, so that's one thing to remember, you can get water there. And they have a bin. So I managed to be able to ditch some of my stuff. I wasn't planning to stay around, but it's because I did all the artwork and stuff. I was like, oh, and it's amazing how many people turned up. When that cafe was open, there was a few people came through. Um, like a few dog walkers, a few early morning mountain bike mountain bikers you know and then just obviously because of the cafe there's a deluge after 10 o'clock just before 10 o'clock there's like loads of people turning up waiting for the cafe it's it was a, when i say cafe it's like a it's like a little hatch servery hatch and then then uh, there's loads of benches around there it's really a lovely day so yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing is, I don't know if Dorking still has this problem with this oil spill on the A24, so I'm 50-50 about whether to head to uh, Cold Harbour. There's a place, there's a bus that goes to Dorking from the Plough pub, but that goes about 12 30 and I'm just questioning whether I'll wait, wait around a few hours. Depends when I get there. It also depends on how I feel. Because, yeah, I did kind of overdo it yesterday. So, I might not want to do that again. Um, or I could go back via the part, the one that I sort of turned off from, which is the Leith Greenway. So I could actually walk up that way, but it would be kind of re-walking bits of what I did yesterday. And, you know, it's sort of... <laughs> Lots of these, you see, you see why the mountain bike is like these, all these little, I assume they're natural, though. sometimes those little bowls are, you know, those things are quarries, but, yeah, you know I talked about the U-shaped U lanes, that there, that's a classic one, uh, I need to check the map, of course. Uh, Duke's Warren. I need to head to Cold Harbour and then I'll see how I feel. Either walk up, stalking from there, or uh, I can just um, take the bus. So, that'll be good. Again, I'm on Green Sand Way. It turns at Leith Hill and heads toward Cold Harbour. But of course, just this polyvalent path, not marked. There are some, some of them are marked, some of them are not. Closed. Please use the public highway. Okay, I think it might be the other path. Very confusing. Alright. I think it might be this one. I hope anyway. Actually, anyway. This one, this might be the... That's called the Common Road. It's just like quite an old... Another quite old road. Swimming anyone? Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully a biker doesn't come through and splish me. I didn't meet anything that bad last night, but there were 
ones like this and they were not fun I have to say towards the tower on the cricket ground there's lots of interesting places but yeah currently uh, there is a bus from Cold Harbour it's one bus a day or two buses a day um, and it goes uh, past one o'clock so in two hours so I'm walking up to Westcott um, I'm going to get a bus apparently I can get a bus from Westcott uh, to Dorking if not I'll walk it I mean, it's not that you know, I might have to walk it anyway but it'd be interesting to see if we can get a bus from up there yeah, I told you they're ancient boundary banks there's lots of these boundaries I don't know if it happened here but I know where I grew up there's a lot of charcoal burning and digging uh, for charcoal burning and they used to do pig iron smelting and stuff in the forest and so some of the banks used to, uh, some of them are actually World War II as well but not probably not around here so when you get these rolling boundary banks or sort of uh, sort of banks quite often ancient things they're not necessarily just natural you know what this is I mean seriously these woods on Long Release Greenway are fascinating and are full of campable areas there's someone been doing some woodcraft I don't know why I've been collecting their parking signs I mean down there you've got all this you know there's the main path there so this is probably a bit too near but you've got all these dips down here uh oh I can hear I know what I can hear oh dear mosquitoes mosquito wine or midge mosquitoes I think we'll head out there <laughs> amazing little bits along here and like yeah you could easily sort of find a dip it's hidden away from the road as well as possible I think don't make me put my smidge on I haven't been that bitten um, so we are getting into there's a bit where this kind of yeah it gets a bit boggy so that's probably why yeah this is what I was kind of well actually worse than this is what I was traversing last night but yeah I grew up in forestry commission land I wasn't, it wasn't kind of abandoned in the forest I grew up in you know playing in places like this you know the big ferns and the serried ranks of trees an abandoned car near where I lived and also a few military bunkers so a lot of uh, a lot of old military World War II installations and uh, in the woods you know little bunkers and things like that I always remember that car, yeah, it was like 1930s, 40s car and I think I think what happened is it just been abandoned there and then the wood grew up around it. You've got these little paths into the woods and we might have fun hacking through the gigantic ferns. Squelch. But you've got these little paths running in like that. That would be a good little place. Yeah, Forestry Commission is always good uh, for camping. I mean, not when they're doing like chopping trees down and doing heavy machine working, but it should be really legal in the Forestry Commission because they generally are not that bothered. Down on common land, uh, Forestry Commission, National Trust, those ones that seem to be the least bothered about your camping on them. Classic, classic, classic. Classic, 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 sorry. And yeah, this is Leith, Leith Greenway, and there are loads of places like behind these banks, uh, past the walls. There are some houses around here. Just a bit careful. Obviously, want to avoid any widow makers like that. Waiting for buses and sorry. 
she used to be a pain in my life as a kid. Waiting for the 22, which is due now. Well, the 32, which is shortly afterwards, but one every two hours for 22. I think the 32 is hour long, but no bus. No bus. The 22 didn't turn up, so I have to wait for the full past. It's a typical. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, like and subscribe to this new channel. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and the various series and uh, Scotland coming up and all kinds of shiz and artwork as well. I'll try and do more of that. But that was interesting. <coughs> I haven't done it for ages and I'm so out of practice. So yeah. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed me camping on the highest hill in Surrey and uh, we're on Sweet Cafe. <laughs>